to open back a room, up a room that you've made, you just open it in the directory tree right here and double click on it. And then I'm going to expand the window so I can see the whole room. Over here I'm going to look at the settings for my room. Now I want to name the room and I want people when they play the game to know what room they're in or what level they're on. So I'm going to call this room level 1 which is just what its name is going to appear in my list in this game and then when somebody plays it the caption that goes on the bar of the room will also say level 1. Here is the height and width in pixels of my room. So as you're building a game if you want to make something in Photoshop for your game and you want to know what size it should be when you build it come here and look at what you currently have set for your width and height. This is a standard setting for most of the games we build. 640 by 480. The speed is 30. That's going to be important later. Now we like that so we're going to click on that to save it in our list. And then we're going to come up here to the top and tell Game Maker to save our game. We're going to save it as this is Click Ball Level 1. It's made by me, KAP, and I am in fourth block, 4B. It should say .gmk at the end for Game Maker. That's the file format name for this file, and that's important. That should be on there. And I'm going to save it in my Click Ball Assets folder. There. All right, we've got our got our room made, but now we got to put stuff in it. So here's my sprites. I have an SPR, and it's the ball. I have an SPR for building the wall. I have an SPR for my quit button. And then down here for backgrounds, all backgrounds are called BCK underscore, and then whatever name I want to give it. My objects. They all start with OBJ and then underscore and the name of whatever the object is. So first you have to make a sprite. Then you make an object that you attach the sprite to. The backgrounds you just import them into the background list one time. Sounds, same thing. All the sounds you want to use, you need to import those into the sound section. How do we get them in here? We use these buttons at the top. So we're going to click on the sprite button. We're going to start name, using our naming convention, SPR with the underscore. And we're going to call this pink ball. Then right here I'm going to go find the ball that I made that's on my computer and load it. Here it is. It's in my click ball asset folder. And I'm going to open it. Now that's been loaded in here and here's a little preview picture of it so I know it's got the right object. Now if I wanted to do some editing like animate my sprite or change something about it, the color, I could do that here with my edit button but we're not going to do that right now. Do I want it to be transparent? Yes. What that means is that the area around it, not the ball itself, but the the background around it is been told to become transparent. So the program looks at the pixel that's in the bottom left corner of my image that I've imported and it says okay that color is the color that becomes transparent around this sprite. So I'm going to say okay. Now if you'll notice up here on my sprite list in my tree there it is. Now I need to attach that sprite to an object so I can put it in the game. So the second thing I do is I make an object for that sprite. So I click on this blue symbol and same thing. Here's our naming convention. OBJ for object underscore and then I'm going to match the name exactly with the sprite I just imported. Pink ball. And now I'm going to click on this button and go to the list and it shows all the sprites I've made and here's my SPR pink ball sprite 
I'm going to select it so that it will be associated with this object. Now, do I want it to be visible? Yes, you can make things invisible. Do I want it to be solid? No. If this is going to bounce around the room. Things that are solid do not move in rooms. So I would not turn that on. Everything else here is fine. As far as settings go, leave it as it is. Now we're going to come back here and actually program and tell the ball what to do in these columns later. So I'm going to say OK. Then I just do the same thing. I make the wall sprite. I'll make another sprite. And this one's going to be called wall. And I will load. I'll go to my asset folder and look for the block wall. There it is. And there's a preview of it and it looks good. Make sure you can see everything. Sometimes the color mode's wrong and there'll be colors that drop out. So make sure that it looks exactly what you want right here. That looks good. I do want it to be transparent. I will say OK. So I've got the two things I need to build my room with. I'm ready to build my room. I'm going to save this.